Hello everyone, my name is Dawson and today we're talking about BookCon. So this past weekend on Sunday, I was able to go to BookCon in New York and it was a heck of a time. So um, before the actual weekend, I had planned it all out on my app, the BookCon app, and the first thing was the Sarah J Mass signing. We got there to the Javits Center, where we get our tickets and whatnot, and it was pandemonium, let me tell you. So, we walk in, and we go down the escalator, and then, um, so there, there's just these long lines everywhere, and it makes me nervous because, like, are we gonna have to wait in one of these lines? I don't want to wait in one of these super long lines. But, luckily, um, so the Sergey Mass signing was downstairs, and, um, there was like roped off sections for each thing. Like there was a bookstore you could buy books from you had to wait in line for. There was autographing table row sort of things. And then there was like a line to go upstairs because it hadn't opened yet. So we get there at like 8.45. The signing isn't till 11, I don't think. So we get in line for the signing and then we wait. So, we get there at 8.45, like I said, and then you get, like, the line gets capped off at 9.30, so if we would have done anything else, it would have been no go. But, um, so yeah, we got in line, and we waited for two hours. It was a long wait. We met some people in front of us who were super nice, and it was fun, but it was a long time. We got up to the signing, and I met Sergey Mass, super nice. And, um, at this point, I was worried that we were going to miss the next signing, which was directly after Sergey Mass, which was at noon, which was E. Lockhart, which I was dying to meet her, because We Were Liars is one of my favorites. So, I get up to Sergey Mass, and, w like, today, that day, was basically the day of asking me if I had seen Dawson's Creek. Every adult person that was there basically asked me if I had seen Dawson's Creek. I've never seen Dawson's Creek. No, I haven't. Okay, move on. My name is Dawson. Got it. Dawson's Creek is a show. So I get up there and I, I haven't even read Throne of Glass, but I wanted to get it signed anyway because I had heard that it was fantastic and I started reading it while we were waiting in line actually. So yeah, well, when I get up there, she is asking me if I had watched Dawson's Creek. And she writes, to Dawson's. <laughs> and then she's just like, oh gosh. She looks so disappointed. And um, she just put it in front of the same Which I kind of like, and it kind of makes it feel more personalized. But yeah, so that was pretty funny. So uh, at this point, yeah, my mom had gone upstairs to go wait in line for e Lockhart. She had got tickets, and she was waiting in line. So then I went upstairs and waited in line with her until we got up to e Lockhart. While we were waiting, I saw people carting out books because it was right by the penguin booth thing. So I saw people carting out books and I was like, are these free? These must be free. So I go over to the desk and I see that they put out All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. And I see they put out some arc and I was like, are these free? And he was like, yeah, sure, big. And then I was like, oh, okay. So I was really excited to get this one, especially because I've heard good things about this and it's hardcover and it was free. So I could not pass this up. I'm pretty sure this was gone within like two seconds of it being on the table because the lady in front of me went and tried to get it and it was gone. Um, so yeah, and then I got Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. So this book seems to be about this girl who has a some type of disease or some type of allergy and never leaves her house. But until one day, um, a moving truck comes and she sees this boy named Ollie who she, I'm assuming, falls in love with. But, I mean, it has a good cover. It's not really kind of a stereotypical story, but it has a good cover and it was an arc and it was free. I mean, what more can ask for? I did get We Were Liars signed. I was super excited to meet E. Lockhart, and I finally got to meet her, and I got this signed. So I also came with a bookmark, and it also, yeah, got the sign. And 
It's cool. Um, she had stamps that were two of the sayings from the books that, you know, they write on their hands. And I chose the be a little kinder than you have to hashtag we were liars one. There's one about bravery too, but that I don't remember. But, you know, it's cool. Plus I got signs. Um, so then the rest of the day was basically pandemonium. We just walked around and got a bunch of free stuff which was great. Okay, all of the other books that I got from The Point After E. Lockhart are these. So, another arc is Stone Rider by David Hoffmeyer. It comes out in July, and it was marketed as like Mad Max Fury sort of kind of a book, which sounds super interesting. The movie looks fun-ish. I don't know, it's kind of strange, but I hear that the movie is good and it was free and it's an arc. I was obsessed with getting arcs at BookCon because I've never gotten arcs before. Getting arcs makes me feel professional. I also got Voyagers Project Alpha by DJ McHale. I have not heard anything about this. It goes on sale in September. It was a free arc hardcover and it looks like something about space. Failure is not an option, apparently, in this book. I also got Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. No idea what this is about. Cover is amazing. Look, it's like transparent. And then on the inside, it's writing. Isn't this just amazing? It's apparently an art, and it goes on sale October 20th, 2015. And it's blurred by Marie Lou, who wrote you know, the Legend series, which is an amazing dystopian trilogy. I don't know what more I needed to pick this up. Like, it looks intriguing. It's blurred by a good author. I don't know what more you need to pick this up. So while we were walking around, we found this panel that was about book clubs. There was like two editors and an author there and whatnot. But um, the main reason I thought we should go was because they were handing out free books. And so um, the first free book, they gave out one in the beginning, one at the end. And then at the end, um, the author signed one of them. So at the beginning, they handed out The Memory Painter by Gwendolyn Womack, which is about this sort of time where there's a drug that helps you, like, access past lives and time travel, maybe? I don't know. They kind of said it had something to do with time travel, but the thing on the back just says, remember past lives, so not sure. It has a good cover and it sounds intriguing. So the book that they handed out at the end after we had talked about book club books and whatnot was Till the Well Runs Dry by Laura Frances Sharma. This was the author that was actually there and talking. This book is about a woman who's raising two kids, I believe, on her own and it's having sort of a tough time. And it's set in the 1940s and the 1960s, I believe. And I'm assuming She's black, so there's lots of racism, maybe? This one was also signed since the author was there. It says, to Dawson, so lovely to meet you. So the last two events we had for that day were the BookTube 101 panel with Pull and Bananas Books, Christine, Jesse from Jesse the Reader, and Kat from Catastic. So, um, but before that, we were um, checking Penguin, because they had the best free books and the best free stuff in, that we saw, and I was, Dying when they put this up. Another day by David Levin. I saw this earlier in the day and I asked him, I was like, where did you get that? I need this. Because I read every day and it was amazing. I thought it was fantastic. So I saw somebody with the arc of another day and I was like, where did you get this? And they said it was at some breakfast that they had gone to in the morning. I was like, no, I need it. I saw them put this out on the table. I was like, so I got it, and I also got it signed because while we were waiting in line for Brian Selznick, one of them, somebody we saw from earlier in the day was waiting in line for David Levithan, and they got it signed for me, which is amazing. I'm super, super excited to read this. I'll be reading it probably really soon, maybe even this month. So also, when they put out Another Day by David Levithan, they put out a graphical biography of... Steve Jobs by Jesse Hartland. Um, one of my friends really likes Apple and Steve Jobs and whatnot, so I picked us both one up and I thought I would give it to him just for a fun 
um, sort of read. This is also an ARC and it comes out in July 2015. So we finally got to the BookTube 101 panel. We got there super early. We got front row seats. So excited. I got to meet Christine, Jesse, and Kat, and even Reagan, who I didn't even know was going to be there. But um, I was so excited to meet them. They were super nice. They talked a lot about, you know, starting a BookTube channel and just, you know, things like what. So after the BookTube 101 panel was over, and I got to meet the best people ever. We went to the Brian Selznick autographing, which was back all the way down the stairs. Um, so uh, I got the invention of Hugo Cabre signed. I really like his handwriting and the stars. He was super nice. Like, he was one of the more approachable authors. I don't know. He seemed really, like, genuine and, like, honest person. But also when um, I went up to get it signed, he gave me a sampler of his new book, The Marvels. Um, it's just like a sampler of images from it. I don't think it even has any text in it, but the images are really cool. Um, and the cover is like gorgeous. I think so. I'll probably get this when it comes out. I think it comes out um, September 15th, 2015. So that was my day and all the books I got at BookCon. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment below what you're reading and if you went to BookCon. I'll have another video up soon. Bye! Also, while we were checking the Penguin booth, they put out a graphic biography of Steve Jobs. Um, I like Apple, I guess, sort of. <laughs> And my friend really likes Apple, so I got him one, and I got me one. I just thought it was kind of cool um, to send him one. He lives down. No. So while we were waiting, they also put out a graphic biography of Steve Jobs by Jesse Hartland. Um, I guess my friend who... So also when they were putting out, so also when they were putting out Another Day by David Levithan, they put out a graphical biography of Steve Jobs by Jesse Hartland, um, one of my old friends. Uh, so also when they put out Another Day, they put out a graphical biography by Jesse Hartland of Steve Jobs. So also when Honestly.